Well, good morning, bon dia. I hope you guys are feeling great and some of you are feeling a little bit of a lift from the last couple of days of energy. Let's hope so. So let's good say good morning. You know, there's one thing that I said that I will not sacrifice when I leave the matrix and that is coffee. I cannot live without my coffee. I like simple things, coffee, chocolate cake, <laughs> good barbecue, good meat, good food, good company, you know, the simple stuff. So yeah, the last couple of days has been kind of uh, a roller coaster, to be honest with you guys. Um, a lot of pressures, a lot of um, things and uh, it's all part of the growing process, as they say. However, it is tough. It is, it is tough. It's draining. It's, you know, I sometimes wish there was two of me. <laughs> that sounds very vain, <laughs> but it's not my intent. But I mean, I can just do so much if there was two of me. <laughs> um, you know, the three o'clock morning wake up, that's the time I have my prayers. I um, pray to the Divine Spirit, the Creator of all life, you know, to, to unite, um, you know, like minded, um, spirited souls. You know, it's about providing people a safe haven where they can rebuild and, you know, resettle and rebuild their lives with the support of other people. And because this dream of mine, for instance, is larger than life, it's too big, it's too important to fail, it's too big to fail, and it's just impossible to fail with Camino Verde, the project, because it's so designed that we have an industrious community. We're not just gonna sit off grid and you know, chase a few goats and geese and no, we're not. We're going to be proactive. We're going to take power back. We're going to make our own shit. We're going to develop our own products for ourselves, our high hygiene, healthcare, um, household products, uh, preserves. You know, we make our own homemade jams and jellies and all those kind of things. And what we make in surplus, we make available to the marketplace. We also provide then our restaurant, which is then available then to the public and our guest house um, in the Camino Verde project, a nice 10-bedroom uh, unit, uh, all um, eco built technologies um, with its own pool um, by, the, uh, by the stream side of the property. And next to that will be the Casa Astral restaurant and, um, uh, you know, gift shop and shop and we're just going to make it a funky kind of thing and support local artists and you know sell products uh, or art on their behalf you know giving them a little bit more exposure and we're going to have a spa also there because it's important to relax and i enjoy a good massage and you know and there's a lot of people that really are good at it you know like i'm also a, a massage therapist and a physiotherapist i know i didn't have much time for holidays for me holidays was let's go do some course on something but in any way you know, life can be so much better and so much easier if we learn to trust. You know, when we learn to trust our intuition, our higher self, you know, we are, we are being led to safety. We can feel this is the right move. This is where we need to go. This is what I need to do. But then the fear and the ego kicks in, you know, you know what if it's a bad move? What's it, what if moving to Camino Verde is a cult group or something like that? Which we're not, by the way, for flippin' hell's sake. We eat meat, we enjoy a beer, we enjoy a glass of wine, everything in moderation, obviously. It's not a fucking place where you're gonna just get hammered and you know, those kind of things we don't want. Generation X, we just like to have a few buzz feelings going and have a few good tunes and have a laugh and no shit, no drama, you know, everybody is still there tomorrow morning looking bright and bushy-tailed. That, that's Generation X, that's the kind of people we want. Um, but, um, 
so yeah, we enjoy life. We we are spiritual. I pray to the divine spirit every day. I believe in the connection of all humans um, to to Gaia, to each other, and you know it's important that the people with the same vibrations, like-minded souls, empaths, to unite. Let's rebuild a new life. Let's create the perfect little utopia for ourselves. Everything outside the boundaries of our big piece of land, you know, that's the world's problems. We can take care of ourselves. We don't need to rely on the world out there. And we can provide for the world out there from what we do in there. And the best thing of all is we all own it. We all have a say in our development. We all have a say in our management, you know. And the beauty of Camino Verde is you know, the, the management or okay, our management, I, I've re-categorized the terminologies. For instance, the management will be, we classify now as um, council members. This is people that um, show phenomenal um, oomph, just they have that some spat, some magic about them, you know, something draws them out. If, if it's in the hydroponic, they, they, they would be the... the, the the elder of the hydroponics. Um, this one will be, for instance, production and uh, new products, you know, and this one will be, for instance, um, you know, uh, our community care, you know, and that's like the infrastructure of healthcare, and then we'll have somebody that takes care of the hospitality, and everybody will be a department head. Then above them is obviously me, because obviously I created Camino Verde, but I'm not there permanently. <laughs> I hope not. I want somebody with a little bit more oomph to take over from me. But the best thing of all is me and the people that sit in an elder position, people that sit in management or council position, we have no votes. We cannot vote. Every proposal, everything we do as a community, Every decision, financial, anything, transactional, anything like that, the community members must decide. They must give the approval to us. Do you get it? So there's no chance of corruption because the community is involved from day one. All our financial um, transactions and statements, those kind of things, will be available for everybody in the community to view, obviously. You know, all profits get equally divided. That's it. That's work together, stay together, and just, you know, be phenomenal. Bring new ideas, concepts, um, uh, things to life. Let's create it. If we can't get it, let's make it. Let's figure out how we can make it. You know, that's what life is about. It's about the excitement of doing something new. Don't just stay in the box. Don't let fear and doubt control you because in you I believe there tonight and this morning three o'clock I believe I am speaking to some of you that's feeling it you're being called and the more you fight it the stronger the feeling gets and the harder life becomes until you surrender to that calling you will not find the peace that you're looking for you have to surrender brother brother is it just surrender just say okay I'm doing it I'm getting out Spirit is calling us to Camino Verde, to going off grid for a reason, to Paraguay for a reason. Uh, Paraguay gets morning buses, you know, normal stuff. But there's something special about this country, but it's not for the weak. You know, you, you, you have to work it. But if you have a team of people working with you, can you imagine how easy things is? Our construction will be quicker than ever. Everybody in our community will understand every concept of our community, weighs everything. Why? Because they were involved in the construction. You know, when two years from now, you know, our place will look like it's been there for 20 years because we're designing it to, to, to blend into the environment. We're designing homes that's inspiring, awesome kind of looking homes, um, round homes, you know. Um, with interesting concepts. So we bring in nice things in and to look back at something and know that you had a shovel in your hand digging a hole a few years ago, there was just grass and where it is now. Can you imagine the pride you have to see that you've accomplished something with a group of people that started off as strangers but now 
became your extended family. These are people that live and work together that will always have each other's backs. That's what it's about. That's what Camino Verde is about. It's about uniting people. It's about bringing everybody's little um, resources, all the money that you can grab, put it together. You bring all your skills, your knowledge, your experience, your passions. You bring that with. You share it. Everybody shares it. Everybody, like I have designed Camino Verde from the sewer lines to the electricity to the homes, the everything. Um, <clears throat> but I want everybody to be involved in how we do things. We can change things. We can bring new ideas together. And if you bring resources like your finances, you bring together your, your labor resources, your mental resources, your knowledge resources, your passion, your desires, and, you know, and ideas. You know, I really want to create a living and working environment that is so inspiring with water features, with, you know, uh, landscape, uh, agricultural gardens where we grow all our vegetables in between our trees. And, you know, you just want to make it something awesome. Nobody want to live in something that looks like a boot camp. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but in any way. But his life is going to throw things at you and it's going to kick you sometimes down, but you just have to ride it. Just ride it. Just say to yourself, tomorrow will be fucking better. And if tomorrow is not better, just say, well, I had to learn something yesterday that I didn't, so today I'm going to learn it and I'm going to pay attention and I'm going to work from there. But tomorrow it will be better. You know, and don't lie down. Don't let life kick you down. Don't, don't stop moving. Don't ever stop moving. This is the time you move. This is the time you get your ass in gear. You, you start selling everything. You get ready. You, you follow your dream. You follow your higher intuition because you are being guided for a reason to get out. You are being called. You know this. And again, the more you fight it, the harder it gets. So I always say just surrender. As soon as you get that gut feeling, you trust it, you know it's perfect, you do it. Because your ego eventually kicks in, then your emotion kick in, and then you like doubt yourself and everybody else just comes and poisons you and you just like fall back and you just don't move. And you think, yeah, tomorrow it's gonna be better in the UK, it's gonna be better in America, it's gonna be better in, in, in Canada. And then tomorrow it's not, <laughs> it's getting worse. And the more you hold back because of fear, the more time you have to lose. There's no better time than the present to start creating something new. You still have time to do that. You, you have time to join our community. You know, I'm not Holy Moses kind of person. I swear, I, I, I like herbology. I like a glass of wine. I like music. I like dancing. I love cooking. I love good vibes, man. I'm like a hippie with attitude, <laughs> without the dreads and hair. But, you know, I like keeping things real. I remember growing up as a kid, my, my family, you know, how my mom's family, the brothers and all of them, when they united and they haven't seen each other for a while, how everything just flew, you know, it, it, everything was a rhythm. Even setting the table, my uncle will give the plates, my aunt will take it, give it to my mom, my mom will start doing the one side, she'll give it to the other aunt, and you know, it was this, and everybody was talking, it was a lovely vibe, you know, they drank wine, they smoked cigarettes, I mean, even when we were kids, it's like, okay, me hold the baby, <laughs> we turned out okay, so, uh, and no peanut allergies here, by the way, <laughs> so, we need to we need to return to a simpler time it takes a village man it takes a village it takes a army of of a humanitarian empathic pioneers to get going visionaries people that know that there is no boundaries in what we can achieve and how we can do things Camino Verde, you know, is this, it's the new beginning for everybody. There's no <laughs> religious kind of weird shit we do. Yeah, we're going to do a lot of weird shit. We're going to do drumming circles, you know, we're going to do uh, uh, salsas, you know, summer, spring, you know, autumn, all of that. I want to create a 
culturally a live community you know anything that elevates our spirits makes us feel alive like makes us feel reconnected i want to do there you know and i want to have a garden of remembrance you know i, I want a place where we can have a little solitude and peace and you know just remember the people that we've lost along the way but also a time to remember the new people that we've gained along the way and even the retirement age I get a lot of slack about this one in Camino Verde you choose when you want to retire and you don't have to retire retire you know you can do little things you can do whatever you want because we don't want people to retire and feel they don't have purpose when you cannot keep up with young bucks anymore and you want to just take a little easier you know we encourage the elders to get involved with the youth tell them your stories you know tell show them things that you've learned along the way you know get involved with the young groups young men groups <clears throat> share your knowledge if you want to you know fuck around in the garden for an hour in the morning and you know you just want to go then sit in the restaurant and have coffee and help out in the kitchen you do what you want to do because we want everybody to still have purpose and a sense of belonging because the worst thing is when you retire all of a sudden there's no routine there's no belonging you feel lost what the hell <clears throat> and then you feel disconnected I don't want that for all people. I, you know, I remember a, a very dear uh, lady that I held on my heart, and she died at 103. She was working until 103, and she didn't die because of the work. I mean, she died on her own terms. She died peacefully, you know. But she said, "You do what you want to do at your age." You see, they need a cup of tea. Let me make a cup of tea. You know, she's, that was the way she was. She encouraged all people to always tell the children the tales of our times and, you know, their, their parents' times. Because kids need to know history. Kids need to, to feel the human connection between a story and a person that lived it. So all people have purpose. So we don't want them to, to lose their way in these kind of things. So we want people to do what they do until they want to do and if you retire and you don't you still get your equal share in profits because you've done the time brother <laughs> you've done the time you get the payment you know and you're still going to be involved in the community just on a much lighter scale and everybody has equal value you know that's why we do the payment thing like that everybody shares equally in the profits no management gets more money no uh, elder gets more money we get the same fucking payout so we all have to graft we all have to put our backs in it to make it work and we can you know there's so many products ideas <clears throat> paraguay latin america needs you know and we can create it we have the knowledge we have the skills we have the people with the oomph in them and we're gonna do it together you know that's what it's all about but again you know i'm hitting 20 minutes almost again but that's life for you but don't let life kick you down, man. And if I say men, I mean women as well. Um, in you is strength. And the harder things get, the meaning for me is just the greater your purpose, the greater your, your journey, your soul's agreement, brothers and sisters. You need to fulfill it. You need to rise above it. Let go of the fear and embrace a new life. Say goodbye to the old because this is humanity split. The ones that want to be a part of the systems and the one that's trying to break free from them. Once you're out in one, you're fine. Once you're still in the other one, you're pretty much going to fight for whatever you need. And it's going to get hairy. Very hairy. And I don't want to see anybody suffer. I don't even wish my enemies harm. Literally, I, I wish everybody just the best and, you know, the safest future. And I try to help people where I can. Some people will join Camino Verde, some people won't. But some people get inspired by it. And that's okay. That's what I want. You know, there's an alternative way of living life. So anyway, stay strong. Don't uh, give in. Remember the solar flares and all these things affect us as well. Emotions go through the roof. Insecurities, heartache, depression, all in one day. <laughs> and then laughter. It's almost like something that flew over the cuckoo's nest. 
But anyway, love lights on. All this hippie jazz.